So what I can do now is to use uh, console, which is based on Bridge, to be able to send information from the YUN to a computer uh, wirelessly across the network. What it does is it creates an SSH connection between the computer and, um, and the YUN. So let's have a look at that. So what we'll do is we'll go into File, Examples, Bridge and Console Pixel and we'll load Console Pixel. We'll um, compile the sketch unchanged and just before we download it, let's have a look at what this sketch does. Basically what it does is it sets up a, um, a constant as a lead pin on pin 13. That pin 13 has got a lead attached to it. And uh, what it does is it sets up the bridge, then sets up the console, and uh, waits for the console to start up. And then what it does is it prints out type high or low to turn th pin 13 on or off. So basically if you type in a H into the console, the lead will go high. If you type in an L, then the lead will go off. And it uses pin mode obviously as an output. So in a loop, basically what the main program does is it looks to see if there's any available characters coming in. Um, if there is, then it reads the character. It um, displays the character. Checks to see if the character is a H. If it is, then it writes the pin to be high. If it's an L, then it writes the pin to be low. And it just goes around and has a look in a loop to see if a console, if a, um, a character is available at the console. Okay, so let's um, let's try um, downloading this, and um, we'll, we'll see how we can run it using um, using SSH. So we compile a sketch, we download the sketch. You can see that it's writing out into Flash. And um, it's confirming it. Okay, so now if we go to our um, our party connection, and we can see here we've got a prompt for Steve's Young. What we can do is to um, type into the party connection a command, which is um, in here, which is telnet to localhost on port. 6571. Now what that does is that um, that Telnet connection then connects to the um, to the console. So we can have a look at the output of the console. And you can see here we've got type HRL to turn pin 13 on or off. I'll just move that over here so we can compare it to the um, to the actual code here. This is their console.print line. So we'll type a H, put in caps lock and type in a H. And you can't see this, but the um, the red LEDs just come on and it's echoed back a H. So now I'll put in an L and uh, you can't see this, but the, um, the LEDs turned off again. So H, LED on, L, LED off. So what we've done in this example is we've been able to run this, this um, console pixel sketch within the... Um, the Arduino processor and we've used the console to bridge between the Arduino processor and the Linux processor and uh, we've puttied into we've puttied into Linux and uh, with our SSH connection and we've run the Telnet to localhost port 6571 which is essentially the console bridge which is um, echoing the console into um, on into the um, into the Linux